Hey, hello everyone. Um, here's the demo side, the last one I'm working on. I'm actually just grading everything out right now. I got the last of the junk in the uh, truck there. And uh, yeah, uh, looking pretty good. It's coming, getting dialed down. There goes one of the neighbors. Uh, really nice neighbors over here. But the, this lot, this guy wants to uh, build a, uh, a garage back here. And it's all he's getting all the water and sloping towards his house here. So I am going to uh, cut the lot down and then I'm going to uh, get everything graded out. And I figure you guys can ride with, and I'm going to let you look through the joysticks because I'm going to try to hold this with my knee. And I'm sitting in one spot, so hopefully I can do this. I'm uh, probably operating a little slow. But uh, at least want to get a video up for the day. Uh, I've been giving you guys a lot of uh, machinery videos from dealer lots. And no, I did not film all those every day. What I did is, I mean, you know, I filmed multiple videos uh, per day. So I'd have some while I was working on other things to get you guys some daily videos. But uh, yeah, this demo is going good. Really nice dirt down here to work with. Just trying to get stuff graded out. Uh, working down the saw, trying to get everything pack back into this old basement hole and I really need to get a mount for this phone. If somebody knows about a, a good mount uh, like on you can get on Amazon, put it in the description. I, I use my phone, it's a Samsung Galaxy S9, it does pretty good videos and I don't really have a problem using that but I need to get a mount like uh, some way of you know setting the thing in the s bear cab here or something and um, Anyways, if somebody sees one or knows a book, yeah, throw it in the throw it in the description, please. And I'll, I'll buy it. Anyway, I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers that have been uh, coming over to the channel and uh, enjoy talking to everybody. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised how everything's growing. I, I like it. And Oh, this is slow. I'm trying to do grading with an excavator. I will jump on the skid loader here before too long, but uh, I think I can probably move more dirt with the excavator than I can with the skid loader for the time being. I'm going to keep chucking it with this. Um, probably moving it you know, yard, yard and a quarter every time. It's about the same as the skid loader bucket. But I can have more uh, breakout force with this. I can break it out better toss it over here and uh, then like I say I'll come back in with some kid loader start grading here a little bit but uh, this guy over here he was getting all this runoff water and I said well I bet when you get a big rain I'll bet it floods your yard he's like oh it sure does so I am killing two birds with one stone he's gonna he, he's already bought the property um, like I say he's gonna put a garage out here but I want to get this graded so that not only will he have a better site you know for future build uh, he'll also uh, end some water issues and make it a little easier to mow because there's kind of an embankment there and everything. So, yeah, coming along looking good. So, lots of things have been going on lately uh, in between uh, shooting some videos, uh, you know, looking at equipment. Uh, I think I got a combine found. I'm not going to say anything yet. Don't want to stick my foot in the mouth. But, uh, Hopefully I got a combine found, I guess, I should say. And that combine, it's a nice outfit, a really beautiful machine. And uh, I won't uh, release the info again on that. Let's you know, build some suspense to keep you guys watching, maybe. So, hopefully that's coming soon. And if you're curious, it actually is in one of the videos. It's one of them. Looked at a lot of equipment, and like I say, I don't, I don't just drive to go look at equipment. If we'll take a Sunday drive or go out and look at something for her. If there's something I see that catches my eye, I can't resist. I'll get out and I film it. Especially since I've been trying to do daily videos, I like to have a cache of videos on hand. But, uh, this demo, it's on a cul-de-sac, which has been a bitch to get in and out of, so to speak. You can't drive through, so I got back in every single time. 
trying to check that run the SB around the block to load it, but using the 160 here. Really, really like this 160. I actually like it better than I do the 250. I think it's a little more balanced. I don't know. The, 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 both these Volvos are nice machines, but I've actually uh, trimmed my business down. I'm thinking about getting rid of both these machines and going to 1220. Uh, so I'll be kind of smack dab in the middle for size. Uh, not a great option, but work is down due to the ag markets a little bit. And um, I mentioned in the video before about hired men, and they're tough to get, and they cost you a lot of money. So I'm just kind of thinking maybe uh, a little smaller is not such a bad deal. I should make a better personal take home being smaller than dealing with uh, a lot of hired help. Um, anybody really cares? I was up to seven guys at one time, but uh, since I've dropped back, uh, mainly more stress. You gotta go out and hit a huge target number just to uh, break even per year, and you're still not making a living on top of that. Why bother? I mean, making your your employees a living, you're doing a lot of work, but at the end of the day, are you really getting yourself ahead? No. are a difficult thing to deal with. Uh, if you like a lot of tore up ass equipment, get you some employees. I got one guy with me now, he's very good, and uh, he'll be staying. And I'll just do more of my own. I may, yeah, may uh, have a higher number one. Um, I like about two guys. Uh, one or two. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Drainage style works where you need to help. Excavating stuff like I'm doing right now, I can handle on my own. Uh, if I had more guys that could drive a truck, I'd be okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm, again, just dialed life back a little bit, make myself a little happier in the long run. It's all good. They're stepped in lots that go through these towns. They, you know, you gotta build a house on the level, so they stair step the land down, and they don't worry about the drainage and things. And I don't know if this was really ever a, you know, the town I mean, it's not that big. I don't know if it was ever a community, you know, like long-term development plans or not. I don't know. Uh, in the cities, they build these housing divisions, these hillsides. I would think there has to be some sort of a, a you know, housing development plans. Design, you know, water runoff, stuff like that, you would think. Of course, then again, I've seen stranger stuff happen. wonder why water's going in my basement. Oh, gee, looks like nobody ever planned when you just threw the house up there. Combine I've been looking at, uh, speaking of it, or hopefully going to get it locked down. Uh, boy, what a bitch. I, that's, I guess, could be subject for the day. These uh, combines are a ripoff. Um, what I have told, been, or, you know, or I guess what I should say I've learned, is most dealers, uh, they want to make about $70,000 per combine transaction. 
Uh, that was based off of what ours was offered for a trade-in versus buying another one exactly like it at a dealer lot. That was trades from different uh, different companies, uh, several different quotes, all seem to be in, in unison with each other. Something else interesting that John Deere is doing right now is they're not financing or leasing anything to anybody out of state. So, telling me that the ag economy is getting pretty damned ugly, and they're saying, well, if we got our repo stuff, you know, we want this thing within close proximity because, uh, yeah, state state cross state lines, it gets a much, much harder to do recovery. And that's not to say that we'd ever be repoed against, or not to say of anything that anybody be repoed against, but uh, I suppose it's happening. Uh, farming is not good right now. And I don't think these Trump tariffs, these, uh, they're not helping. And these uh, whole Trump bailout that he's going to offer farmers, it's a joke. How about just come up with some markets for our product? But uh, we looked at a you know, new combine a few years ago and we said, hey, we could afford that. And I'll tell you what, the way things are right now, a $135,000 used combine, it's a bit of a task. I mean, 135 grand will be 30,000 30, a year, five years. And, Son of a bitch, it's, that's a bit to bite off. It's a pretty dang good loan. Pretty good loan amount. And, you know, if you... It's just that there's just no profit in it right now. I mean, you sell a whole bin load of corn. You know, a lot of these old farms around this area, a 27 or 30 foot bin, 10, 15,000 bushel bin. You empty it out, and you got thirty thousand bucks. It just doesn't buy anything. You know, you got to buy seed and fertilizer, and then you know, the cost of production and out of that. So it's a joke. This farming's a joke right now. Just no profit in it. You know, I'm barely net three dollars for corn or after trucking. It's a oh, this just doesn't work. maybe far-fetched to think this way but uh, you know you got little to no profit in this land and cash rent and stuff's gonna start diving and ironically uh, you know down in Nebraska her place is $89 an acre property tax $45.50 here in Iowa so it's coming to a higher value and we get higher property taxes and we're still getting what we're getting for our you know well you take a renter say he's getting 275 an acre, he's making a living off his farm, or you know, the guy that owns the farm, not the, not the guy renting it. The guy that owns it, he's paying all that high property tax. Well, all of a sudden, you know, his 250 an acre rent has to get down to 140 bucks because that's all that farmer can afford to pay him because the commodity prices are so crappy. And then he's paying $80 an acre for property tax out of that 140. He doesn't have anything to live off of. And, you know, pretty soon, you know, it's just, just a way for, in my opinion, it's just a damn way for us to lose our farmland, you know. No commodity prices, you can't sell your stuff for anything. You got high taxes to pay. So if you've got land you're renting out right now, I, I can't believe the land would collapse eventually, you know. Not the best for you have or anything else. But Dad and I, we have a cow almost, maybe it's far-fetched, maybe not, but it almost makes you wonder, like, maybe it's corporations aren't thinking of some way of, of uh, getting a lot of land controlled or purchased. Uh, so it's kind of got my ears perked up because it just seems like there's so much against us as uh, farmers. And um, now we already know that the you know the livestock industry went that way and it's it's corporate controlled. 
I drove by the dairy there the other day looking at those square bailers. They must have had 20,000 cows. And I mean, that's the only way to make a living in that. And you have to be tied up with uh, big milk, you know, whatever. Probably owned by, probably owned by Blue Bunny or something. Who the hell knows? Small independent guy, he is screwed. dirt in that back corner of this property that could come out of there if need be. Anyway, I uh, need to get a good camera, but for the time being, again, if anybody knows of a good mount, that would help me out so I can get even more videos for you guys. Uh, I've been trying to do daily, I've been kind of a little lax on that. I love a couple days there I have to go by, I just got too busy. But uh, another thing, I appreciate all the comments, and I'd really like to know what do you guys like for videos. Um, you know, I am excavation of farm, so. I have to bear with that, you know, I try to do what's in my life and bring you guys along for the ride, but at the same time, I think uh, there's probably some types of videos you like better than others. Um, maybe equipment repairs, I mean, should I uh, fast forward any suggestions would be great. this off, get this puppy down, I'm getting it graded out pretty nice, so, probably two more hours at least, look a lot different, let's see if I can get a picture of everybody, or at least, uh, go to my, go to my Facebook page, I'll put a picture up there, Black Earth Excavation on Facebook, Black Earth Excavation Trenching LLC, same as the YouTube address, company name, uh, probably should change the YouTube channel name, but, uh, go there, check it out, so, again, comment, rate, subscribe.